Some urban parts of Australia are on track to reach temperatures of 50 degrees or higher this summer. It is potentially deadly heat and it's prompting councils into action. Sydney's western suburbs are home to an estimated 2.2 million people. Come summer, it could be one of the hottest parts of the country. When it's summer coming, it's but temperature are really high. <laughs> Yeah, I'm from New Zealand, so I'm used to cold. So, yeah, no, it's way too hot here. Urban planners and scientists are increasingly concerned about the problem of urban heat, which can be 10 to 12 degrees hotter than nearby rural areas. When you replace vegetated surfaces with hard infrastructure, you're changing the thermal performance of the space. The problem is most severe during heat waves. It costs lives. Um, it also increases health costs. It um, damages infrastructure. It has an impact on the economy. It's a significant problem councils across the region are trying to address. In Parramatta, one of the proposed solutions is to boost the amount of green space. The city has planted thousands of trees and is rethinking urban design. This new building responds to the weather using airflow as natural climate control. We need to think about how we're building and planning now to ensure that um, it's going to be fit for, for people to live in the future. But it is expensive, a single tree costing upwards of $50,000. There are a few different reasons the city of Parramatta here is consistently hotter than the Sydney CBD, which is only about 20 kilometres away. One is the lack of sea breeze, another is the way the city has been built with lots of hard materials, things like concrete, brick and steel. Experts say an even bigger problem lies in the suburbs. Dark colours which absorb heat on a sea of rooftops. It's an issue the council so far has little control over. I think that is something that we need to do that we have to look at and I'll go back to the planning department and talk to them. Rhiannon Elston, Sky News Weather.